Hello and welcome to the first update video I have for my planet shader. In this update I've added uh, ice caps and the ability to control them to however you want them to look. This video will go over how to use them and uh, what they can do. So you can see both ice caps will be easier for disable all the atmosphere and cloud effects. There you go. And then enable just the base color. So you have a clear view of the ice caps. So the new ice caps are at the bottom of the node group and you have full control over most of the aspects of the ice caps. So the North Pole, for example, you can change the size, how far it reaches down the planet, stuff like that. You can control the South Pole, obviously, same thing. You have the noise seed. So if you want to, if you find a pattern that you like, or you can animate it, you can, uh, all the, this whole node group, you can animate any of the aspects uh, using keyframes. For an animation, maybe you want an animation of an ice age. So you would animate one of these to like slowly encroach over to the other side. You have this uh, noise scale, which changes aspects of the noise around the edge. So noise scale will make a, a rougher look the higher it is and a more uh, rounded look the lower it is. Uh, edge detail changes some aspects about the noise. So edge detail one changes how like rough is just on the edge. So it doesn't change the shape too much, but changes how rough is round the edge. So more detail or less or somewhere in between. Edge detail two changes the shape more. Uh, sort of similar, but uh, the higher it is, the more round it is and the more detail, the lower it is, the more blobby. Uh, you've got distortion, which is the normal noise distortion effect. And this is a quite a cool addition, I think. It's the ice caps over water slider. So if you just want the ice on land, so you don't want like an ice cap, but you just want it to be cold on the poles, you want it to be uh, snowy. So you can drag the slide to the right and it will only place the ice caps on the land. You see on both sides. So down here, uh, so like a last update, the rotation of the whole planet using vectors still works with the ice caps, but now you can just select the ice caps to rotate. So say you want, it's a bit ridiculous, but you can, uh, you can change the position of any of the ice caps using the vectors and then it still works on top with the, the whole planet vectors. So I've also added a new uh, map that you can uh, output using the texture generation file or this one if you want to use this one for whatever reason. So I've keyframed it. Uh, all the maps um, that are generated take the ice into consideration. So you can see the roughness map, the specular map, the bump map, which you can see very clearly has the ice caps on it. So if you change like the seed and stuff of the ice, you can very much see it there. You got the ocean mask where you can see the ice cap. And remember, if you disable the ice caps on water, it disappears from all the maps. So you won't have any conflicts on the file if you use it. And then you got the ice cap mask, which just highlights the ice caps. You can see again, if I disable over ocean, it looks like that. And yeah, that is pretty much the update. I will be adding more in the future. Leave suggestions in the comments. I will look at them and see what I can do. It is, uh, I can add a lot more stuff, but I need to know what people want. And with that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.